actually started way back on the 19th of February. The first game of this was West Asian Women's event. Unfortunately, neither of those two teams have made it here to the final in Jed. Jordan look completely bullish. Changes from the team who beat Palestine 5 0 in the semi finals. Lina Ls Ajamin, Rubazan, and Zabrali complete the midfield and top scorer Mesa Jabrani. And there is that lineup. No number nine. And we are off in this eighth edition of the West Asian Football Federation final here at the Prince Abdullah Al Faisal Stadium in Jeddah. Cut out. Jabari does well. Again, another free kick, and that's just due to Jordan not keeping hold of possession. His ball's been turned over, and not for the first time. Now Jamin is in amongst the action. Gives away another free kick again. Careless from the midfielder. I mean, screaming instructions on. He wants this ball to go long. Kitarana drives it long towards it. It's an opportunity oh, here, and the goalkeeper's fumbled it. Mm -hmm. Assistant mm -hmm. referee's flag has stayed down, and mm -hmm. Shirin mm -hmm. Al Shalebi mm -hmm. rather ungainly keeps the ball out, but what you think? It's the ball attacking again. Looking better so far in these first seven minutes. This is a dangerous position for Nepal. You can hear the crowd in the background. There's a huge Nepalese contingent here tonight in the Prince Abdullah Al Faisal Stadium. Going out, shall I be just sorting out her wall? It'll be Shaheen whips it in towards the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper does well in the end, just parries it down. Both been up to the challenge so far. There's that late tackle again by Sarah Abu Saha. Wonderful football again from the ball in a tight space. It's pumped forward, but cleared by Al Majali. Shot from distance deflected, and a wonderful save from the mm -hmm. goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Superb work for Shalabi. Shot came in from distance. Pretty Ray. It was a huge deflection. The goalkeeper had to get her feet moving quickly. Here comes the striker, and there's the header. The goalkeeper did exceptionally well. Got across smartly to her left and palmed the ball away to safety. It was taken early, it's played all the way through and it's has to be dealt with and is by Jordan. Jordan up against it at the moment. There's Balhau. One on one with the Nepalese defender, she is. Exceptionally quick. The decision again goes against Jordan. You just see Mesa Shabrai. And they quite word with the referee. She feels that perhaps Nepal are getting 
the lion's share of the decisions see why the foot wasn't raised it was the Nepalese defender going in low draw forward but easily dealt with again by Jordan extremely strong in the air Dispossessed. Again, another prime example of Jordan. Gave her absolutely no chance. And you have to say, Nepal deserve it. They've dominated possession. They've looked the better of the two teams in this first 28 minutes. Jordan haven't got going. Let's see here. Rekha Poodle never giving up. Jordan had a chance, one, two chances to clear the ball, they didn't. And that shot, it may have taken a slight deflection. Just looped over the goalkeeper. Gave her absolutely no chance. See, better of an angle, we didn't in fact, but as she hit it, Sabrita ran at Maga, just undercut the ball, lifted it over the top of the goalkeeper. What an inspired decision. Yeah, free okay. kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Juma Mohammed just making sure everything's to his liking. This is Paul Gaines whipped in towards the back post and goalkeeper comes and flaps at it. Does get something off it. Gets enough. Will go behind for a corner, not convincing from Suba. But she did enough. Well done. It's a lovely ball in, just floated in, and she made the decision to come early. Turned out to be the right one. This ball's whipped in, keeper duck comes again and gets something on it. Oh my god, I'm just here. Oh my god, Certainly not textbook goalkeeping, but it's been effective. Again, it was just all too easy for Nepal. As Gishin looks as though she's in a lot of pain. She collided with the goalkeeper. So brilliantly worked from Nepal again. Just so calm under pressure. Not for the first time, Jordan not clearing their lines. Guilty of not taking responsibility. So he also down. The referee not happy at the moment, just something's going on at the bottom of our pitch. You can hear it's all just spilled over on the side. And this is what it means to these players. Mohammed just trying to get hold of the situation these deep conversation with Nepal players <laughs> just to see what the outcome of this is it looks like Shreen Al Shabi is moving freely Jordan will be keen to get her back on her feet Abu Hantosh here's that ball again brilliantly worked lovely little scoop and then that ball over the top and it was a tight call it was Gislin onside excellent goalkeeping from Sherin quickly off the line in fact the flag had gone up it wouldn't have counted anyway but the goalkeeper wasn't to know both players fully committed opportunity for the substitute said she's been lacking goals maybe lacking just a little bit of confidence it was a wonderful run and wonderful cutback and she just had to put it in the back of the net you can see the frustration you can see she's all alone and 
that's a super <laughs> goal from the ball. She needs to be careful. She's uh, having a very th fine line with her gamesmanship at the moment. She draws that ball long, headed down. Batush gives the ball away, back with Nepal. Mashali does well just to intercept that pass. It's going to be a substitution. Looks like number 16. Zain Hassan is coming on. On the ball. and his assistant thought otherwise and it will be a corner for Nepal it's whipped into that near post it's flicked on to Chanson so nearly and over Sherin Al Shabli goalkeeper was well positioned didn't quite get the contact she wanted from it and it was a good opportunity for Nepal perhaps in reflection should have done a little bit better Dipper Shahahi. Ball's played into Pito again. Lovely first touch from her. Does well to battle back and get the ball. And again, not for the first time, plays the ball out wide to Sarah. Managed to whip that ball back in. And it has gone for a corner. Paul convinced that it had already gone behind for a goal kick. Jordan continued to play. They've got the corner from it. Another corner, Paddy, okay. Looked in towards Mason at the back post. The header is made and Paul just getting a bit of a tangle between themselves. Will do well to eventually clear the ball. Wide of that far post. For a second, I just thought it was going to nestle in that far corner. It's a decent first touch. It's always going away from the goalkeeper. Just went away from the far post. Jordan survive another scare. That's that should have worked the goalkeeper. Chance come back to root Nepal. Oh, still down to 10. Very happy with it, allows plays to continue. Nepal being pressed back now as that ball's clipped in. There's an opportunity here. It's a wonderful finish oh as she stayed on side. She looks the assistant referee. The flag stayed down. Jordan are back in this game, and it's Lara Ferreira who scored the goal. It looked offside. Oh the Paul are furious. Jordan don't care. They're back in this game. It's 1 1 here at the Prince Abdullah Al Faisal Stadium. And it's a wonderful finish by Lana Ferreira. It's her third goal. And it will be a yellow. For Mitra Jassi. Here's the ball over the top from distance. And you can see quite clearly she's miles on side. Timed her run to perfection. And a wonderful touch on the half volley just to guide it past the advancing goalkeeper. Assistant referee got it exactly right. Goalkeeper got caught in no man's land. And had no chance. The smiles on Mesa Gibrani's face. Oh for those of disbelief, assistant referee has his flag up. Shit. It's a wonderful shot from distance. But Sarah Abu Sabah, you can see just inches, inches in it. Shit. The goalkeeper did exceptionally well to get something on that, just to push it onto the crossbar. 
brilliant follow through by Mesa Chevrara. She just couldn't keep on side. It's a wonderful strike from Sarah. It's been a wonderful tournament. The stadiums have been exceptional. The pitches. And that's a strong tackle. And Mesa Chevrani's got hit right in the face. Both players were 100% committed to the ball. It's a strong tackle. She looks in a lot of pain. See here, both players. And in fact, actually, it was an arm from Rekha Poodle. She's very, very lucky indeed. There's that strong tackle between the two. She's got pulling of a shirt. And then Dipper Shahi just having a quiet word with Nora Zukash. The referee Juma Mohammed has sorted it and it will be a free kick for Jordan Al Majali. Drills this ball in, it's come all the way through and nobody from Jordan put pressure on the ball. It's a wonderful free kick. Really asked questions in the, of the Nepal defence. No one challenging for it as that ball's allowed to bounce and we're back down the other end. Jordan <laughs> give the ball away. Clumsy from Abu Saha, nothing more than that. Shitarana back to her feet. She plays her football for Sethu FC in India. Scored a penalty against Palestine. She may be called on again. This stays as it is. The ball just guilty of overplaying did. Oh, whips this ball in. Header forward, but. Mesa Gibraltar just unable to get it on possession. Mesa just slides the ball through. Opportunity here for Sarah to finish the game. Just takes too many touches, gets a shot off and scores. She's done it. I thought the chance had gone. Sarah Abu Saha didn't give up. She kept going. Nepal backed off. They backed off. They allowed her to waltz into the box. She took her time. She picked her spot. And she fired it past Suba in the Nepalese goal. And all of a sudden, from being 1-0 down, Jordan now 2-1 up. And they're minutes away from their sixth victory. Nepal just couldn't get the ball away. They couldn't get it down. Just play through to Mesa. Sara Abu Saad timed her run to perfection. She cut inside. She ghosted past one tackle. And then just drilled it past the goalkeeper low and hard. Thought for a moment the opportunity had gone. She never gave up. Sloppy defending from Nepal. Some of the players looked tired. What a time to score as we approach the 90th minute. Paul pump forward and the goalkeeper comes out and fumbles it. It's a chance here and oh, it's been spilled oh. by the goalkeeper. Anita Bassinet oh, had to hit the target. That was the opportunity for Nepal to get back into this game. Championships are won on fine margins. a golden opportunity for the substitute
Sherin making a mistake. Yeah, it will be a substitution for Nepal. Bimla Chaudhry is on. As the corner's taken and swung in. Half cleared by Jordan. Claims of a handball. And it is a handball. And it I think a penalty has been given. Penalty do like please penalty. Penalty do penalty. Initial instincts thought that it had hit Mesa Gibran's arm. Shuma Mohammed agrees with me. And it's Rekha Poodle in amongst all the action. Big smiles on her face. She's lucky to be on the pitch after that challenge. See this again as the ball's clipped in, it's not cleared properly. And as Mesa Chabran goes up for the header, just lands really on her upper arm. And the referee had absolutely no doubt, pointed to the spot immediately. Yes! And it is going to be the defender, Gitarana. He's already scored one penalty against Palestine. She never felt the amount of pressure that she does now. It's the 92nd minute. There are six minutes remaining of additional time. This to keep her team in the final. Gitarana for Nepal. And she scores! 2-2. Two, two. It's all to play for. Calmness personified from the centre-back. It was never in doubt. Calmly side-footed it into the bottom corner, giving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. The amount of pressure she must have been under. Yes! Look what it means to those fans. Just gave the keepers the eye and drilled it hard and low. When it comes to penalties, she doesn't miss. What a time to do it. Stadium is just deafening. And it's mostly from the, the, the Nepal fans. What a turnaround! An unbelievable <laughs> final. We're not finished yet. Here come the Paul again. They want to finish this in normal time. Maga drills that ball in, but they only find a red shirt. Mesa turns and does win a free kick. Calls for a penalty. No. Could have banner Al Bitter taken that chance earlier. Mesa Shabra convinced it was a penalty. In fact, it was a good tackle. Aki Tarana. See, getting the ball. She had to get it right. And did. A 
And there it is. Shasha. Here is Almajali. And she scores. Oh Squeezes it past the goalkeeper. Suba got fingers to it. It's just too powerfully struck. She gave the goalkeeper a chance. The keeper nearly took it. Nepal. And it's gone the same corner and it's gone wow. in. Didn't strike it as well as the first one. It doesn't matter, it's gone in. Sharon Arshabli done better. The captain. Mesa Shabra for Jordan. And scores. Never in doubt from the skipper. Advantage Jordan. Goalkeeper given absolutely no. She scores another excellent penalty. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Sherin Al Shabli went the right way. Just couldn't get it. Too powerfully struck. And we go again. Looks like it will be. Zukash for Jordan. Yeah. Left yeah. footy. Strikes it and scores. Oh. Keeper went the wrong way. Again, advantage Jordan. It's a wonderful penalty. Just shaped to hit it to the goalkeeper's right, then whipped it across. Giving the keeper absolutely no chance. On the spot. Makes it three. Another excellent penalty. Yes. Standard of spot kicks this evening has been exceptional so far. Again, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Another scuffed shot from Amitra Jasali. Didn't get decent contact on it. It's an excellent save by Sherin. Quickly down to her right. To win it for her team. And she has done. It's all okay. over. Jordan have won it. It's six for Jordan. A wonderful penalty. On the balance of the whole tournament, they've been the best team. They weren't great here this evening. First half was disappointing. They pulled it back in the second. And they've done it. 05, 07, 14, 19. 22 and now 2024 20, number six for Jordan they never gave up they fought back